I'm already annoyed. Yeah. Oh, I, oh. I'll bring back Claire, I'll tell you. No, it's not his fault, it it's is. the whole place. The library's shite. I tried to go- oh, God. I had to go- I had to go chill, to Capital Ride- uh, oh. Chill, chill, That's that, chill. I had to go to Capital Library to get a couple of records I wanted, right? Place is falling apart, the email's not working. It's so shoddy, he's had two weeks off. Oh, my God, day. I mean, it, they- I really- they might as well bulldoze this, honestly, mm. cos for all the- you know. It is ludicrous. And uh, we get paid peanuts. You get paid, do you? <laughs> 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 oh, and it really annoys me. They have to fight. Oh, anyway. Anyway, just calm down. 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant Hello. and Carl Pilkerson. Carl, you're back. All right. How was it? What? The holiday? Yeah. Uh, well, it wasn't all fun, was it? Because my dad was in, uh, was in hospital. Oh, but he wasn't- He wasn't during the holiday. Not during the holiday, though, was he? You came back from holiday and then found that out, didn't you? Yeah, but it happened when I was on holiday. Did yeah. you know that, though, when you are on holiday? No. Because I didn't take my phone with me. Well, that's well, the weird thing is, yeah. I got- I got a okay. feeling. When I was sat there, because it normally happens last time- What was the speech, was it? When I first went away- We saw to, that old fella with his packet out. When I went to Ibiza, right, I, uh, I had a feeling, and I called home, my dad had punctured a lung. When I you say you had a feeling, what do you mean, a feeling? Just like, oh, I should call home, there's something not right. Mm. But this <laughs> time- a very I specific thought, feeling. <laughs> <laughs> how did that- how did that manifest itself? <laughs> How does that- how do you it, get that? It, what kind of oh, feeling? I'm, is that tingling I'm getting, thing? I'm getting a bit of a lung feeling. <laughs> yeah. Mm, a bit of a dad lung that feels feeling. Like, that feels like a punctured lung. Mm. <laughs> well done. But anyway. No, but anyway, the holiday was good. We talked about it last week. Well, let's, let's probe Carl about his holiday later, because, okay. you know, that's the sort of thing that audiences will stay tuned for, Rick, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Find out about you know more things. about this radio uh, business than me. You know, you, you've enough. hooked them already. Indeed, yeah. Um, well, also, yeah. I'm thinking, we've got nothing. <laughs> Ever so now. We may as well really? save that. No, I resent it. I used to put a lot of work in, but now, I, you know, I, I think of the money, which is, you know, for me, Pretty shoddy. <laughs> well, yeah, you know I, mean? I mean, you. I don't usually get a lot of cash. Well, exactly, yeah. And, uh, you know, the whole thing is the whole setup. It was raining today. I thought I should have a cabin. Mm. You know, mm, then mm, the mm. sun came out, so I walked in again. Ah, mm. <laughs> <sighs> dear. How are you? But, um, I'll tell you what, I got a bit criticised last week as well that I, I only played ballads and the same songs, so I'm, I'm gonna rock out this week. Oh, I'm I've been down to the Capital Library right. to get some good tunes. And, uh, what about a little bit of ACDC? Oh. Shook me all night long. Let's hear it. Well, that's cheered me up. In a better mood now? Yeah. Good. That's great. Let's three, three rock out today. Yeah, well, yeah. Better Led Zepp, maybe Stones. Brilliant, yeah. Some other classics. No yeah. Doubt. When are we going to talk about Carl? Have oh, we run out of stuff yeah. already? Okay, already. let's go. Okay, now, uh, yeah. So uh, where did you go, Carl? What was the story? Um, it was my birthday, mm -hmm. right? Um, went home after doing, working with you a couple of Saturdays ago, mm -hmm. right? Uh, girlfriend was like, open your card, open your card, and I said, no, it's my birthday on- on Monday, I'll open it <laughs> You obey by the rules, don't you, <laughs> on <your> birthdays? <laughs> uh, birthday rules. Uh, well, there's no point. Well, exactly, <laughs> chaos leads that way. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, uh Not an anarchist, never has been. So, no. anyway, sh she was kept going on, and uh, it was doing me head in, so I said, alright, I'll open it. Yeah. So I opened it, ticket fell out, uh, surprise holiday to one of the Canary Islands. So... And what was your reaction? I mean... First one was, we haven't got enough money. Right. For this. But I didn't want to ruin it, so... No. <laughs> no, no. So I didn't- I didn't go on about that, and I said, oh, it'd be great. <laughs> so I can't wait. <laughs> so, Did you uh, say it in that tone of voice? <laughs> well, uh, it was good timing, because I was tired and everything. Mm. And, uh, I'm not a big holiday fan. No, but mm. the timing was right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's the same mm. as last night. I don't always like a curry, but last night... You're in yeah. the mood. You get that sort of, oh, yeah. Curry feel. You had a, you had a, you had a feeling. feeling. Yeah, you had a feeling. You thought, oh, and, and then, lo and behold, like, are you were eating the curry. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, isn't <laughs> it? Isn't it weird, the paranormal? Is, isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? They, they work in mysterious ways, yeah. ghosts. Yeah, So yeah. anyway, right, um, yeah. the island, um, if I was on once you were here, I'd probably say it's a bit barren. Okay. Uh, not much there, mm -hmm. but if you get a hotel, you guarantee good weather. Right. Are you? No, what I mean is, <laughs> it'll be a good holiday. <laughs> if you get a hotel, right, the, the weather's always good, so you're, so you'll have a nice yeah, time. Yeah, it was a comma, yeah, it was a, yeah, go on. Um, and all that, and the food was alright, and, uh, and everything was going alright, I was just having a nice relaxing time. And how do you sort of spend your time on a holiday? You just lie around, is that That mean sort of holiday, just lying around, yeah. I, I, I bought a book. You bought a book? Yeah. Okay, ghosts? No, it was, it was short stories, right? It about was ghosts? like, no, it was about like, uh, 
like special days in our time and time oh. before me and stuff. Oh, yeah. And it was like, uh, it was telling you about how in, I think it was 1814, the Thames frozen up. Yeah. And all these stories are told by eye eyewitnesses. Yeah, yeah. Right? So there's some fella who was around in 1814 and uh, the Thames was frozen and people used to uh, put market stalls on there uh, and they'd yeah. do the shopping. It was like a sh it was like, like an Oxford street. Was that Mad Liar Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> no, because he's famous for that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure, you know. No, I think that was Mad Liar Charlie. Right. Yeah. So I was reading that and then after a couple of days was a bit like, oh. Boring. Yeah. You can do, you can only do sort of so much lying around. And so much know. reading. So, uh, Suzanne said, let's go on the beach, yeah. have a walk. You ain't gone on the beach? Where have you been the, the, up to this point then? In, the, in your room? No, just like around the pool, just, mm, sure. just relaxing and yeah. having yeah. a swim and that. Yeah. Um, so she said, let's go on the beach. I said, all right then, yeah. So, uh, wandered down to the beach and, uh, first impressions are, yeah, it's all right, it's clean. Uh, Your criteria good. is so basic, it's weird. <laughs> 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 Hotel, yes. Roof, good. <laughs> Food, adequate. <laughs> beach, clean. Next. So, I'm walking along and everything's good and, uh, you know, there's a woman, uh, feeding fish bread, which I, I thought that's different. He loves a bit of originality. <laughs> he was feeding <laughs> fish bread. This woman was there, like up to her, up to her knees in water. Yeah, and she was stood was there. Was that a sea? Chucking, yeah. Oh, right, good. Chuck, chucking this bread, and I thought, what's she doing? And I stood there and watched for a minute, <laughs> and there was little fish coming up. I'm in the bread. I thought, oh. so we carried on, <laughs> carried on walking, and uh, <laughs> everything's going well. And then this fella comes towards me. Everything's going well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's I'm falling over. A clean, clean feeding bread. Mm. Yeah. Two points for originality. Well, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Fella comes walking towards me. Oi, oi. He's only got no pants on. Oh. So I said, Suzanne, what's going on? <laughs> Why did he turn to her? <laughs> like she knows more so than she him. Said, so she said, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, she said, yeah, it's a nudity. Is this thing. gonna be a long story? Cause, can, can you pull that coffee? Can you give me that coffee over? Um, sorry. Sorry, this is really bad. Yeah, because he's pulling... Thank you. Just amuse yourselves while we uh, talk the coffee. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll have a cup of coffee, Carl. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Do, 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 Cold. Do. Right. Good. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. Great. <laughs> thank you. So she said, "Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a nudist yeah. beach." So I said, "Well, why? What?" I said, "We're all mixed. Mi it's all mixed up. Normally on a nudist beach, yeah, it's a nudist beach. You don't go wandering on there when you get your clothes on and that." Mm. So it annoyed me a bit. Because there wasn't any signs, so this fella's getting closer. Well, the knob out was a sign. Yeah, right. So he's getting closer, and he walked past me. It was an old fella, uh, and he walked past me. He had a hat on and a, and a little pipe <laughs> and a big rucksack on his back. <laughs> right. So he got me <laughs> thinking. Not strictly I, naked. I'm walking along and mm. I'm thinking, right? Why do people want to do this? So straight away, it, it was I wasn't on holiday anymore because most of the time when I'm on holiday, I don't think about anything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your I mind's just, a blank. I just switch off. <laughs> right? But all, all of a sudden, this this has got in my head now, and I turn around <laughs> to, to look at him. <laughs> and Check out his eyes. <laughs> and the bag, and this bag, right, I swear, That's it, was, it was massive, right? What? You had a massive bag? The, the bag. The <laughs> his rucksack. <laughs> his rucksack. Oh, right, okay. So. When I said, he said there was an old couple coming towards me, I said, what was lower, the bloke's bollocks <laughs> or the woman's tits? And he said, well, that was another point, she might as well have worn knickers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said to me. So, so you, so you saw the bag. So it annoyed me, yeah, because the whole idea, in it. I, this is what I think. I mean, I might be wrong, right? Might be wrong. <laughs> Chances are you never have been. Wrong. You never have been before. Being nudist, right? Mm. What's it all about? <laughs> so, I'll tell you on that on that point, Carl. Let's play a tune. Let's come back and we'll discuss. <laughs> what are we going to play? We'll discuss uh, that very oh. issue. We have we've got some ideas. We did chat about this last week, Carl, in your absence. All right. Well, we'll play the choral. Okay. Yeah. It's a good one, this. Yeah. <laughs> Dreaming of you on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. If you just joined us, Carl is walking down the beach, yeah. and a man has just passed him with his knob out. Yeah, his testicles out, and his his a uh, huge huge bag apparently. Right now, we're gonna we we'll sum this up, you know, quick, because we did talk about it last week. You know, you did you did call me and tell me some of these things, and we we sort of uh, mentioned it last week. But um, you just want to say your th just give us your thoughts on nudity. Well, what I don't understand is right nudity. I thought it was all about. You know, sort of being free. Yeah. Natural, letting the breeze 
you know, blow around you and that. That's that's all I can think is of, of like the bonus of doing it. Mm. But you can get that by just having a pair of shorts on, right? Because mm. I'm not one for getting my kit off. It's just something a bit weird about it, isn't it? Normally, if I go for a walk on the beach, I'll I'll put a shirt on. Sure. But leave it unbuttoned. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 tease yeah, the ladies. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it just feels a bit weird. Mm. So it's best to cover you back anyway because the sun. Yeah. yeah and all good that. Advice, yeah. But when I saw him. And I thought, well, right, is he doing it to sort of be free and be comfy and all that? And then I thought, but he's carrying a big bag, yeah. right? I've got a pair of shorts on, and I'm not looking at him thinking, I bet he's really comfy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I yeah. wasn't going, I can't wait to get home and get my shorts off. These, <laughs> they're really annoying me, these. <laughs> so, and that, that, that's just it. I don't get what it's all about. Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure. Well, um, okay. Well, I mean, my, my advice to you is don't don't go don't go to nudist beaches again. Well, I didn't. I didn't go again. Do I you play Do you play volleyball? No. Nope. Well, there's no, there's nothing in it for you, to be honest, Carl. <laughs> do you ever walk around the house nude? Not really. Only if like it's quickly to sort of jump out of bed and go and get a glass of orange. But I've got to be <laughs> careful because living on a high street, this flat's right across the way, looking in. Yeah. And the thing the is, it's Chinese all Chinese like, fella. There's a little exactly. Chinese fella. And that was the other one. That went, went, is he the there's one? There's the old woman reading a book. Yeah, yeah. it could be dead for all yeah. we know. Um, it hasn't moved. There's some bouncers and I, I, some bouncers. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> is that a euphemism? There are always. <laughs> There's always, uh, Her name's <laughs> Carol. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the only time, if I nip out and sort of get out of bed at night, go and get an orange, I've still got to be careful, because if they're awake and I open the fridge door... Oh, and the light you're illuminated, comes up, yeah. Yeah. They'll, they'll sort of see the light. And the shadow. Turn round. And, and the see. weird, long, stretchy shadow. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what, why do you get, you get up and got orange juice or orange swash? You know, Robinson's. <laughs> you can't advertise on Why don't you take a glass of that to bed, Wee? Why are you getting up? Yeah. Cos uh, whenever I do that, I normally don't wake up and it's a waste, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the man is a genius! <laughs> and he- look, well, continuing our, 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 our rocking out thing- Yeah, we're in a rock mood. Well, I think this sums up rock and roll, doesn't it? It's not called rock and roll, is it? <laughs> Textbook. Coldplay. The Scientist. Do you think that's about you, Carl? What happened there with all that rubbish pressing the wrong thing going out and that? I don't want to go out. I've sorted it now. Doesn't matter. Right. Just You've just come back. On. You're not focused, Carl. That's what concerns me. Your mind's on other things. I'm all right now, though. You're ready right? to go. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is, oh, I, I just- I'll tell you what, it. right, I'll tell you how focused I am. What? Got some new ideas for you. Go on. Well, then. they've all been blinders in the past. Go right. on. Did you do any competitions when I was away? Uh. Did we, I think we did, didn't we? Didn't we give away a DVD? Did we? Yeah, we did, we did. Well, yeah, go on, yeah, right. go on, anyway. Well, I've thought of some, uh... This isn't like radio, is it, as we know it? This is just people talking. Mm. If the mic's on, it's luck. <laughs> yeah. If anyone's listening, I'd, I've, you know, I've no idea what they think mm -hmm, of this show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. not a show. Not in the <laughs> traditional sense. No. Okay, no. then, you're gonna change with that card. Because a show to... suggests a certain form of presentation. Yeah. A certain pride. And when we do present and it- And dare I say it's some planning. Yeah, and when we do, it's ruined by him pressing the wrong button. Yeah. yeah but I've got some planning here. Go on, right. then. Uh, quizzes. quizzes. You... What I did was, when I was on holiday- Yeah. Right, I, I, you, you said, you know, come up with a new idea, right? Mm. So the best way of coming up with ideas is sort of, um- <laughs> Thinking. Sort of nicking a, a TV show name and then twisting it a bit. So- okay. Or just rip off Simon, Ma Simon Mayo's idea completely. That's well, good I advice for anyone out there. I didn't <laughs> Yeah, yeah, If you're interested in, in ideas. See, uh, Carl is presently, uh, um, running a course, right in for TV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that, that's the lesson one, isn't it? Just that's rip something one. else <laughs> off. Just, just right. do it. And change the title slightly. Yeah, well, go this, on. this one I haven't really got- I, I don't know what to do on the game, but I'm thinking, uh, <laughs> st Strike It Ricky. <laughs> I that's all you've got? That's- oh, That's well, what you've come up with? How long did that, that take? What is that? I just thought it sounded a bit like lucky. <laughs> forget that one then. <laughs> yeah, forget that one, okay. Yeah. Well, no, right. no, no, good. No, no, we all have- we all have hits of this. <laughs> Even Spielberg's, not all his films, you know, can hit the- uh, Go on. Right. No, okay, no, it's a good- it's, uh, go on. Do yeah. you remember uh, Big Brother? Yeah. Do I remember Big Brother? No, go on. <laughs> Big Mother, right? You call <laughs> in, if your mum's ever, you win a CD. <laughs> How can you- how can you prove that? Alright, forget that. <laughs> right, here, here's one. Right, here, good one, no, here. No, 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 yeah, no. The price is right, remember that? Yeah. yeah. 
Right. The price is Ricky? No. The rice is right. <laughs> and what I do, I read from an Indian menu and a Chinese menu, you tell me whether you have pilau or egg fried. Genius, he? he really is a no, modern. Let's let go into this one. Let, let's not cross this off right away. Go on then. What do, you read from what? Well, I've got. I, I get a couple of menus from like an Indian or a, and a Chinese takeaway. Yeah. yeah. And I'll go like, uh, right, um, oh, chicken korma. Well, could I just suggest that as it's an Indian, it'll be pilau and anything you read out that is. Yeah, but you don't know which one I'm reading from. What the chicken korma's Indian, isn't it? Yeah, so you go pilau. <laughs> but then, but then. Well, you, then you might as well say Indian or Chinese. <laughs> no, because then the, the name wouldn't work. The rice is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot you're working for the title backwards, aren't you? Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. know where I am or what, what I, day it is. I, I, pro I program that they've been in on Channel 4, right? Can you cross that out? We're not doing the rice is right either. <laughs> I don't understand no? the rice is right. No, go I'll on. tell you that later. We'll have a game in the office, right? <laughs> um, a, a game that they've been in on Channel 4 but has got really big viewing figures. Well, obviously not. Right. Or they wouldn't be binning it. Go on. Do you know 15 to 1? Yeah. They're getting rid of that, right? Are they? I'm thinking 15 Taiwan. <laughs> get some items that are made in Taiwan, right? Get 15 items and y and I say what they are and then you go, oh, I bet it's the vase or something. That's the one that's made in Taiwan? Yeah. <laughs> Just explain that again very quickly. <laughs> no, don't go. Oh, Cross right, forget it out. That, forget that. Cross it out. <laughs> 15 Taiwan. <laughs> right. Go on. This is the one that I've prepared for because I think this is, this this is, is my daft. This is good. Let's go play on. a tune in this here after that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm you very sure? excited. <laughs> are we gonna play it after that, or are we gonna say- No, it's you can explain no, it it's out. I'm right. very excited. <laughs> Good to hear that again, isn't it, Steve? Oh, fantastic. Waiting on a Friend by the Rolling Stones. Yeah? Go on then, Carl. On XFM 104.9, <laughs> Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Wilson. Go on. Right, this one. Um, remember Blockbusters? Uh-huh. Right, this one, this one is good and we'll do this one. Uh, rock busters. And remember how Bob Olness used to give you a letter? Yeah. And, uh, um, it'd give you a question and the answer to that question is that letter. Yes. Right, well it works like that. So if I said to you, um, yeah, we'll test it out on you, Steve, right? Um, right, welcome to the show and that. Hello. Um, let's, let's play, right? Mm -hmm. And I say, right, your first one is W. Mm-hmm. Um, and the cryptic clue, cos it's done like crosswords, Okay. Um, so not quite like blockbusters. Well, um, this young man prepared for his death, right. and it's a W. So the answer, and it's not always going to be like our sort of music. It can be any sort of music that's out there. So the W is the name of of the answer. I understand that, but is the answer always the band name, or is it? Is yeah. it, it it's always the band name, is it, or the artist? Yeah. And it, and so would the W be the surname, or would you have both the initials if it was? someone's name. Would Elvis Presley be EP? Don't no. get annoyed, no. Carl. These are, these, <laughs> these these are questions, questions that I knew would be asked. I know this. He tested it on me. So you've got to tell them. Well, Which is the point? The rules. If, if it was Elvis, I'd probably do, uh, I'd do E. No, no, no. Give him the answer. Give him the right, answer. Did you hear the clue? No, give me the clue again then. So the, the, the letter is It w. is a cryptic clue it's and the w. clue's fine. Listen, but, and the clue on. is, this young man prepared for his death. This young man prepared for his death. Yeah. This young man prepared for his death. And it's a W. And it's his first name. That's what he needs well, to see, know. Well, see, that's the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't... Well, shouldn't we have the initials? Wouldn't that make it easier? I mean, yeah, wouldn't... but they didn't do that on Blockbusters. It just had one letter. Yeah, they did. No, they did. They, they did. did if it was a, uh, if... A gold one, they often had a f three or four. Did they? Letters, yeah. Well, it was normally just one word. It wouldn't have been a name or something. Mm. All right, then. W... W, uh, Y. W, Y. Will Young. Excellent. Right, I didn't so understand it. What this was the will man, prepared young... for? This young man. So he's sort of mixed, mixed sort of cryptic. Yeah. But I mean, you know, is it, that yeah, is a good effort. That's better than yeah. usual. No, it's that not, is better than usual. It's not bad, is it? So should we, do you want to play, let's play Rockbusters? Yeah, Rockbusters. Uh, yeah. So how many of these have you got? No, because no, just, 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 wait, 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 wait. let's just clarify a couple of rules here, Carl. Let's just make sure we've thought everything through, because I'm pretty certain when they get these things on TV, they at least have a go at them in the office first, <laughs> before they put them straight on there. I'm sure that's how it works. I'm sure Bob Ollis just didn't turn up the first day, and he goes, up, we're all wingy, it'll be fine. Bring the students in, let's have a go. I'm I'm sure they did uh, a little bit of preparation. So let's just check. Uh, We've got everything, every base covered. Yeah. I've Firstly, got... how many questions have they got? I'll to tell get you right? what. Let's do this off air then. Should we play a great, a great tune? Well, yeah. 
Well, people need to call in, don't they? Because we're doing it, aren't we? Yeah. It'll be all right. And there's, there's good stuff. I've got uh, CDs, right? I've got, um, some compilation stuff and a couple of videos and that, so that's what they're playing for. Uh-huh. Um, call up now, 08700 800 1234. Get them on the air, we'll play the game. Brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> Is that oh, what we're doing? Bit of the cure. Oh. That's from that, uh, Cure Greatest Hits, uh, I'm gonna have a heart attack, I you really You get, uh, am. an extra it's bonus CD on certain copies, and that's, uh, an acoustic version of Just Like Heaven. Fantastic. He hasn't thought it through. I know, we've just right, spent we've three, three and a half minutes trying to figure out the rules yeah, of this game. Yeah, right, we've got it now. I'm sorry for people to call in. The, the lines are going mental. Right, so, hold on, everybody. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna do an ad break. We're just we're gonna, gonna figure out how to play the game. <laughs> no, we're gonna get two people on there, and we're gonna play it. So, uh, XFM and that. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. The adverts aren't working today and I don't- I'll have to get an engineer in as well, right, so Right, don't play the adverts. I don't want to play them anyway. Don't play them. It's not our fault if it doesn't work. It's- uh, Why? Do you realise if we were, like, live, we'd be hackled off the stage? <laughs> right, we, we, don't play the adverts. We no, wouldn't we, survive in the real I'll world. I'll sort that out. Right. right, right, get the people on the air now. Just- No! Get, get, oh. Rick, calm down! Play a record then! Do something for Christ's sake! Brilliant, Pulp. Good news and bad news. Bad news is we have got enough callers to play Carl's game. Okay. The good news is we don't have to pay any more adverts. Yeah. In this show. So, uh, if it doesn't work, sod it. Right, who have you got on the line, Carl? Sam. Now, let's just remind ourselves, what's the game? It's Rockbusters. Okay, now calm down, Carl. Right, I know you're a bit stressed, you've got a lot to do, but don't worry, you've just had a holiday. Throw this desk out. Just throw it- let's throw it out and start again. Rick, don't get stressed. Go on then. People, it, people wouldn't think it was us if this show wasn't, you know, half-baked and <laughs> ill-formed and, <laughs> and generally shoddy. That's right. what they've grown to love. <laughs> okay. All right. Sam? Hello. Is it sounding all right today? It is. It's just about. All right. Cheers. Sounded worse. <laughs> right, then. Yeah. Well, and, uh, so we've got <laughs> Sam on the line. Who else have we got, then? So we've got, uh, we've got Tim as well, haven't we? Hi there. All right, Tim. Yeah, Tim and Sam. Right, you, okay. you sound quite similar, lads. Could one of you affect an accent or something? Um... Which one's Tim? Yeah, it's me. Okay, which one's Sam? This is Sam. No, it's slightly deeper, slightly deeper, deeper yeah. Yeah. And they're not okay. against the clock anyway, are they, so it doesn't really matter. I suppose not. So... No, I think Steve just wanted a bit of variety. Yeah. You, uh... <laughs> okay. You, you understand the rule, lads. <laughs> Can you explain them to us? <laughs> <laughs> right, play it. Okay. Right, Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Well, wait, let, wait, me, wait. let me explain, because, I mean, life is too short. Now, Carl's gonna read out, um, uh, say three clues, yeah? And, um, just, just shout your own name and answer it, or shout the answer. Shout your own name, then the answer, if you know, and it's the person who gets the most right. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. So, uh, um... Uh, here we go, then. Okay, then. So, so... Shouldn't it be the first of three? Well, yeah, but then yeah. he yeah. hasn't got... No, yeah, he's he's got, got enough, I've got enough, it's fine. He's got enough clues for that. Mm. Right, then, here we go. Welcome oh. to the show. Uh, oh, God. Right, uh, <laughs> first initials, S, T, right? Is that right? S well, I don't know. Oh, we don't know, do we? How do we know? Here we go. ST and the cryptic clue is better than the average homeless person. Okay? Sorry, I- I think- is that a band? Yeah. Is it an old band? Yeah. I think that's one word. Alright then, S. S. It's an old 70s band. Uh, better than the average homeless Tim. person. Tim? Go on. Super Tramp. Super yes. Tramp well it is. Yeah. Well yeah. done. One point to you, Tim. I have no idea why that's right, by the way. You don't know- you don't understand why it's a right? Soup, it's a super tramp. Oh, right, Better okay. than the average homeless oh, person. Yeah. 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 yeah, cryptic. Yeah. Okay, yeah. second one. Come on, Sam, you've got a- That's actually okay. quite good for Carl. Trust me, Tim, that's- I mean, take that. Take that as a good clue. Cos- <laughs> yeah, okay. We won't do this again. <laughs> Wait, what right, here Tim? we go. Right. F. The letter is F. That's the next one we're moving on to. And the cryptic clue is, the little girl is hungry, what shall we do? The S or F? I've F. got it. F. 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 Freddy. Sam, feed her. Yes, one all. Feed her. He's pulled out of Feed her. Yeah, <laughs> feed her, okay. Yeah. So that's one each, so this is the decider, isn't it? 
Wait a minute, ITV well, no. are on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said first to three, so no, it's not, is it? That's what I said. Just do the three clues, and yeah. who gets the most. Okay, well, we can do that now. So, <laughs> here we go. I love this. This is rubbish. Go on. So, here's, here's, here's the last one. The initials are AK, right? And the cryptic clue is Exploding Pet. Say, shout out your name if you know it. <laughs> last orders at the bar, please. Last orders at the bar. <laughs> exploding Pet. A K. You're tuned to XFM 104.9, Carl Perkinson's Quiz, Rockbusters. The format is still available. <laughs> the highest bidder, please give us a call or you can email ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Is it a band or a singer? It's, I'll give you a bit more of a clue. It's, it's a, a pop band. Okay, we, we wouldn't have... Uh, Tommy Kitten. Yes! Oh. oh! This is amazing radio. Oh. So who was that that won? That was Sam who won. So it's 2-1 to Sam, so he wins... What does he win, Carl? He wins some CDs and some videos. No, he's got a, and, uh, uh, and, uh, obviously now, Sam, if you're ready, take the spot, you're gonna do the gold run. <laughs> <laughs> Away you go, Carl. I haven't got any more. You're a fool. Right, right, stay on the line, we're giving both some presents. Play a record for, I uh, just- Rick, I'm gonna shoot off. <laughs> <laughs> Feeder, come back around. He's getting all stressed again. You know we've only done an hour. I know. It's. I'll tell you what. This you know seems there's like another three. hour to go. I know. I can't. I don't know what it seems like to the, you know, the listeners. <laughs> I say I'll this. I'll tell you this. this. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, Carl, but I think maybe someone else should come in and press the buttons. Because I'm not sure you're across it. I don't think you can concentrate on talking and working at the same time. I'm not walking, sure you can- Walking, walking, yeah, and I, eating. It, for you, it seems it's a oh, bit no, like- Oh, no, don't say that. Look, he's gutted. No, it's, there, there's a lot of gone wrong here. I say, I say throw this desk out and get a real one. Seriously. Well, I think there's a, there's a Fisher Price one you can buy in, uh, well, Argos that might be yeah, worth no, getting. Yeah, we got there, but we were stunned because it was second hand, this one. But, um, uh, this is like the mere space station. I mean, it really is falling apart. Get a new one in. Let's not, you know, oh. I can't believe it. Get the- I mean, look at the- look at that! Look at the library, look. Gap. Look at the gaps in yeah, the right, library. Let's not go on about this, cos this isn't- this isn't good. <sighs> what? Whereas that quiz was. <laughs> <laughs> whereas that was good radio. You can join in and stuff But the that. problem yeah, okay. is, Carl, you- why'd you rush to do it? We- I told you before we should practice these things. That's Although, to be doing. fair, Steve, I can't- I haven't got time to do anything, so at least Carl's coming up with stuff. But I don't mind, you know, running what through with it while got? you're having a kip outside. Really? What other ideas records? have you got? Have you got any other ideas, Carl? Because we're really- you've got another hour to put- have you got well, anything we, at we, all? We, I've got that feature Educating Ricky, which is a bit of a play on words as well. Right? It's, do you know the- do you know the film, Steve? Educating Rita. Yeah. I'll well see what you've done. I'll see what you've done. <laughs> Go on. I'm doing that and I teach Ricky stuff. Uh, <laughs> okay. what, 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 what do you teach me, Carl? Well, I've got a few different topics. Um, Go on. Do you know, like, how you taught me about Hitler and Che Guevara and Winston Churchill? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come in with topics every week, and this week I've got, uh, hang Ghosts? No, Hanging Bacon is one of the topics. Say that again? Hanging Bacon. Hanging Bacon? All, all the titles- Francis Bacon? <laughs> no, all the titles are sort of named to sort of make- sort of tease you and get you more interested in it. Hanging Bacon? Well, you've right. certainly intrigued- Go on, what's another title one? Uh, Hairy Chinese kid. <laughs> <laughs> Could I, I'm no. going for that one. Could if, I, there I mean, a, if there was a university degree yeah, with that yeah. title, yeah. No, I'm going to go for hairy Chinese kid. And I think. the final one, yeah. a Alien gives man a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I, right, I Alien gives burst. man a beard. I am going to burst. Right, listen, Carl, you've got to tell me. Right, to first, right, let's do it in reverse No, we're not, order. we're not gonna do it now, anyway. What do you mean? You, we've got to do it now. The, the, I mean, that's- this is the first interesting thing you've said in an hour, okay? The listeners have just, uh, been subjected to rubbish and, uh, oh, and mistakes and everything for the last <laughs> six months. Please, we've got to do Alien Gives Man a Beard. What is that? Tell us that. Right. Um, sorry, this is just you telling me something, is it? Well, <laughs> this feature is you telling me something. I'm well, teaching you something. Educating Ricky. Right. So, are we playing it now? We're already into this feature. <laughs> well into this feature, are we? Yeah, I suppose we are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should there not be a jingle or something? Yeah, can we have a well, jingle? there's no point, cos look, I come up with ideas and you dismiss them straight away, so I'm not wasting my time making stuff. Right. If you don't like Well, okay, it. let's play- let's play Educating Ricky. Right. Brilliant. Go right. right so wah, 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 Educating Ricky. Right. What are we going for then? Hanging the bacon. Airy Chinese kid. 
Alien Gives Man a Beard. I think Alien Gives Man a Beard. I'd like to do that. Right, there's this fellow, I think it happened in America, uh, and he saw a bright light in the sky. <laughs> and, uh, God, God, if you're bored. And he stood there. This is a true story, is it? Yeah. He stood there. <laughs> yes, yeah, cause it isn't, Steve. <laughs> and he saw this bright light and it came closer and closer and it was a UFO. Right? <laughs> yep. And he looked at it and it disappeared, right? And he gets back in his car. <laughs> he looks in the mirror. And he looks in the mirror. Yep. He's only got a beard. He has. <laughs> no! You sure it wasn't it. someone else who got in the car? And he was still standing out there? No, right. What? And it turned out, yeah. he got home and said to his wife or, or his girlfriend, uh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got out of the car to look at a bright light. And I, gr I, I got back in the car and I grew a beard and she said, never mind your beard, where have you been for three days? <laughs> and what had happened is- He the, passed out cause he was pissed. No. <laughs> the, the UFO had taken uh, him for three days. Yeah. But he'd only thought that he'd, he'd only looked at it and it went away. Yeah. But what had yeah, happened is- yeah, He yeah. took him and yeah. he grew a beard cause he hasn't had a shave. Um, so, right, okay. D d I mean, was- Will Smith or Tommy Jones, anything to do with this at all? Did, uh, were you, did you see this on a video, maybe, and thought it was an educational film? No, it's from a book that some kind person sent in to me. Here. Yeah. Um, Can I just ask again, just, just again, I'm just throwing this right back at you. Um, do you think there's any other possible answer here? Right? A man is absent for three days from home. <laughs> He's the, grown the a beard. The length of time that it could take to grow a beard, lest we forget. Um, what if he hadn't actually <coughs> seen a bright light in the sky? What, what if he was lying? Drunk? What if he was lying? He'd got knocked unconscious, mm. he'd had a car crash. Just any lying. No, things. just lying. Or he it's, was just lying. Yeah, he'd, he'd been on a bender, getting pissed for three yeah, days with his mates. and that was his mates. excuse to his wife. And they went, what are you gonna- what- Dennis, what are you gonna tell your wife? <laughs> um, well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. She's not gonna believe I was out with you, lads. Uh, yeah. uh, Just say you're only away for a minute. No, she didn't know I wasn't away for a minute because of the beard. <laughs> oh yeah, look, it looks like you've been out for three days. Well, we have, that's- <laughs> exactly. Right, okay, we've got to cover that then. <laughs> uh, alien abduction. Great one. Okay, let's try that. Do you see? That's a little scenario there that could have been played So, out. when you say educating Ricky, what have I learnt from this? Never listen to you again. That's all I've learnt so far. Never listen well, to yeah, you. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more in here, right? To well, no, uh, what do you mean add a little bit more? We'll add a bit more to this, to this what I'm educating you about. Go on. Right? Um, there's only a law in America that says <laughs> if you touch a UFO, you're gonna get done. Now, why would they make a rule? I don't know that. Do you know, like all our rules have a code. Uh, Carl, I, I, I genuinely do not know what you're talking about. Right? Do you know, like how air? Do, like, do you know? I what have no idea. Right. Okay. Do you know, like over <laughs> Rick, here? I'm listening to Capital and these headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got Foxy on from yesterday. Uh, uh, right, let's let's bend that. No <laughs> way, he's great. No, I, I want to hear about airy Chinese kid. <laughs> let's play a tune. Okay, play a tune. Come back, airy Chinese kid. Definitely. Some, some doors. Yeah, I yeah. just thought uh, I'd go oh. back. Uh, take it back to the six. That's stressful, isn't it? We've, I think we've got things working now. We've had people coming in and out, just shaking their heads, going, shouldn't have bought that desk. <laughs> but it's all sorted now, I think. And, uh, oh. I'm, you notice I'm, how it I'm took, sorry. um, about what? 25 minutes for them to come down as well, though? Do you feel like we're maybe quite low in the pecking order in the building? Definitely. You know, it's like Capital First, Capital Gold. They can shoot off to other sort of pirate stations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People's car radios, <laughs> then they come back here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I had a job at Richard Sounds. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Light fitting was uh, zzz, buzzing. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, <laughs> but we've got, um, thanks for staying, listening. Um, right, okay, educating Ricky. What have we got? Airy Chinese kid, go on. Right, yeah, this is the, uh, I didn't want to do this. What really? do you mean you didn't want to do it? Well, I wanted to give you three and I, I, and I gave you one. It was like the alien man gets a beard or whatever. Yeah, and which was total rubbish, so <laughs> uh, this one should be better, maybe. Hey, Chinese kid. Right, well, yeah. we've talked about airy people in the past. <laughs> 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 True enough. Aren't we? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the, the little kids who grew up in woods and hung around with wolves and that. Yeah, again, you're confusing it. Yeah, they're not, they're, they're not, there were some people that were born a very hirsute. They were not the yeah. people who were brought up with wolves. Yeah. You just put that together in your <laughs> Homer Simpson type mind. Right, well, this is like a sort of, sort of close to that sort of story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the weird thing is, right, Chinese people aren't that hairy. As a, as a nation. <laughs> No, seriously, that's that's a well-known fact. <laughs> oh my God. You, they don't they don't have that much body hair and right. stuff. Okay. So this little kid who was born over there, um, 
he was like covered in stuff. Was he? And it was only his nose that wasn't hairy. The rest of his body was caked in hair, right? Mm. Um, and his hair sort of What grew. sort of hair was it? Was thick, it- Thick, thick hair. <laughs> 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 no, what I mean is, was it sort of, uh, uh, like a pony's mane, so he just looked like an Ewok? You know what I mean? Just like hanging down sort of straight, dark well, hair? Looked, in the picture it looked like, uh, it grows it from downy? his eyebrow- it grows from his eyebrows quite thick. And then it just goes all the way over you his head. You don't think it was just really long eyebrows that he'd done a comb over? <laughs> no, th it was all over his body. It had a picture of, like, his back and that. Yeah. And, uh um, Had he styled it? Had he styled it at all? Did he, did he have it in a quiff or? No, it was just- It was just, just all over him. Yeah. And, um, and they were like, you know, this is a bit weird. Happening, uh, happening in China. Mm. Where, <laughs> where we're not normally that airy. <laughs> That was the scientist speaking <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> the press, the local press and that were getting him down calling him monkey boy and all this. Oh. And, uh. Um, Thinking Chinese press. But the doctor. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. They're cruel, aren't they? The it's doctor. Like those game yeah. shows. <laughs> well, That's Japanese, isn't it? Yeah. That's all that. Yeah. And the doctor said, um. I was all talking through all that time where we were just like talking <laughs> to each other then. Because I, I turned around and I still <laughs> saw he was talking. <laughs> Go so on. anyway, the local press came in to see the hairy boy, the monkey yeah, boy. And they were like being tight and taking the mickey out of him and the doctor said uh Throwing him nuts. Said he's only he's only airy. Said um he's a healthy young kid. The only faults he's got is he's got a little bit of eczema and a boil. <laughs> 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 and he said everybody should just treat him the same and uh, I think he grew up a healthy healthy kid. Um yeah, so that's- that's the, uh- That's- that's the end of the story. That's not a story! Why? Well, I, but I've got nothing- I don't know what to say to that. So someone was- someone in China was born slightly hairier than the rest, and he was normal apart from eczema and a boil. That to me isn't a story! <laughs> but that, I, that I, if it is, I've got a million. I mean, it, it's sort of like, bloke from Manchester, went a bit bolder than the rest, got a job on radio. He was normal. I mean, that's not a story, is it? Do you know what I mean? All right then. Um, hang on, hang on. Oh god, he's got the big guns. You're not going to give us hanging bacon, are you? Yeah. <laughs> come on then. Come on then. Right, come on. The we'll come on. To. This, this is it. No, this is a good one. This is the one. And this is a story, right? Um, do you know the saying, uh, "Chewing the fat"? Good one. It's one of my favourites. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what it means? Talking. Right. Well, do you know where it came from? No. Right. What they used to do years ago. When people didn't have much money. Is this the same as the ba throwing the baby out of the bathwater? No, it's not the s- well, it's not the same saying, but No, but I mean, is it as wrong as right, that was? Well, let me tell you, and we'll go see. On. Okay. Um, like, people go out to work, and with the money, they'd buy food. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> this is a good system. What- what- go on, what do you- what do you- what do you mean? People go out to work and with the system- And if- if you, if you were quite well off, you might treat your family to some bacon, right? But do you know, like in these days, if people earn a lot of money, they might buy a nice suit or and, or a oh, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what, what are you saying? You're saying. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. You're saying that it, you go out to work and get money to to buy things to to live, and if you get sort of enough money to live, and you've got some left over, you might treat yourself on like a suit or a car or something. Is that yeah, what you? Yeah. Oh, but back on. then, back then, if yeah. you earned money, they'd say, "This is olden times." Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get some bacon in, right? <laughs> and what they'd do, they'd hang it in the kitchen. Or to show it off? To show it off right. to all the neighbours and friends. Because if you were- if you had hanging bacon, it was like, he's doing alright for himself. Yeah. yeah. Some lovely bacon. So they had loads of bacon hanging up, and people would come round, right? And whilst they stood in the kitchen talking about whatever they are talking about- In olden times. They'd say, uh, do you want a bit of rind? And they'd- and they'd rip a little bit of rind off, and whilst they're having a- having a chit chat- Chewing the fat. Chew on the rind. Well, I think that's probably true. And I say, haven't heard that, but that one to me sounds true. Do you see the difference between that one and- a man was abducted and grew a beard. Do, do, do can you see the difference in yeah, why I accept that different, story? Different stories for different things. <laughs> different stories for different things. <laughs> so, see, that's a nice, that's a nice story. If it's true, I don't know. If it's true. I mean, but it seems totally possible, viable, quite interesting. I won't be quoting that myself until I've verified it. But that's you know, I won't be telling anyone the bloke got in the car and he had a full face beard. <laughs> <laughs> Why has car been towed away? Because it was a quiet road. It was it? It wasn't in the way. Okay. Okay. Are okay. you filling in the blanks again? <laughs> that wasn't in the book, was it, that you read? <laughs> See, that's yeah. the thing. Sometimes I think you make up bits of the story <laughs> as though they were a fact. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Well that's all you can do, isn't it? <laughs> so So that's educating Ricky, will we? 
Brilliant. Do that next week. That is brilliant. No, I think Carl. that was good. I, I, I did. I mean, I enjoyed that. I learned something from that. I mean, well, just, just. I, I want to get. A, I mean, this is all from one book, is it? Yeah. That's an interesting book. Um, with the, with the, I don't, I don't want to dwell on it, but with the, uh, with the hairy Chinese kid, what, what, what did they say about that? What did they, what was the, I mean, was it once there was born a kid who was slightly more hairy than everyone else, but he, it's all right, he only had a boil. Oh, how did they word it? How did they, how did this capture your imagination? There was well, a it was a picture that grabbed me, first yeah. of all. Yeah. Sure. And uh, it was like, God, what, what's up with him? And that's when I read it. <laughs> did you see the boil in the XML or just the hair? No, you see, because his face is like, just under his eyes is sort of nice and smooth and his nose is sticking out and that's not hairy, but the rest of him, it looked like he had the sort of a balaclava on or something. <laughs> and then, and then I read on and it's like, this is a hairy kid in China. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Anything else in there? Because, I mean, I like, I like that. No, I like we'll, that. we'll do more of that next week. How, how is that alongside, um, hanging bacon, alien abduction, abduction um, uh, a, a hairy Chinese kid, and uh, a little interesting fact about the derivation of a phrase. What do you mean? He didn't understand a word of that. <laughs> 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 I knew the word derivation was going to cause problems. <laughs> I thought derivation shouldn't have come out. <laughs> no, I'm not, I wasn't disputing. He's all, he's all smug because he's had a phone call. That was, um, Beck, Lost Cause. Go on, tell, tell him why you're all smug. Because Adrian just called up. Yeah. After hearing the story about the Chinese kid. Yeah. And he said, yeah, that's true. He said that there was a TV programme on it. Yeah. He had a, uh, a chromosome defect. Yeah. And it made him airy. And his mum and dad had, used to have to shave him. That wasn't in the book. But, um, thinking about it, that's not a good move anyway, is it? Because they say that for women, if you get a few hairs on your top lip, don't shave it because it'll grow back thicker and faster. So. Right. They should just what let him. Be they should have just said, "Well, let's see how how bad it gets." But mm -hmm. if they if they went in there straight away as a if he came out as a baby and a little bit hairy, they should have left it maybe, <laughs> for a little bit. But Adrian called up and said, um, "Yeah, he was hairy. He was yeah, all but right. we weren't disputing there was a a, a a Chinese kid born slightly hairier than the rest. We were disputing the fact that you didn't actually tell us a story. You and, just told us. A and what we are disputing effect. is that that man was abducted by aliens for three days and grew a beard. Yeah. That's definitely not true. No. We don't know about chewing the fat, but it sounds quite viable. Yeah. You see, the difference is between me and Steve and you is that uh, what we believe isn't random. Do you know what I mean? It's not random. The things we, that we don't believe stuff just because it's interesting. It's not every other thing we believe and every other thing we don't. We well, sort I of think like... Carl believes stuff if it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, if he thinks, oh, intriguing. Fact. Mm. He said. Uh, he said to me on the. Um, before you got a minute, he said, uh, that Ollie's record, Ian Evie's my brother, what's that about then? And I went, oh, I don't know, I, I, I heard, um, it was about someone who had a disabled brother and, um, he was lifting him in and out of a car or something and someone said, oh, do you want a hand? And he went, no, yeah, he's not heavy, he's my brother, i.e., mm -hmm. this isn't a burden for me. Yes, yes, right? yes. Carl, what did you say? Uh... I'd say... No, I'll tell you what he said. He went, well, that's ridiculous, he was still heavy. <laughs> and he said, don't turn down help. <laughs> Which, we were talking about that because a new feature we're starting about this time every week. Oh, yeah. Uh, Are we start about this time every week? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll do, um, that song's got a good story. Okay. Mm, love it, love it, snappy. <laughs> go on, go on, and, go um, on. there's loads of songs out there, isn't there, with, uh with songs that you couldn't fade out. When you hear them on the radio and that, you don't want anyone to talk over the start or the end. Uh, yeah. Because well, it's but Remember we did this one before with, um, Killing of Georgie by, um, Rod Stewart? Yeah. And I was a bit worried that it might have been a true story because mm. we were, you know, joking about it. And, uh, he went, oh, you know that Killing of Georgie? He went, I think it is a true story. I went, why? He went, I listened to it again and Rod Stewart at the beginning says, this is a, uh, one of my best friends. <laughs> 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 It's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> it's genius. So there's loads of songs out there, and what I want to do, we want to get the audience involved in this, so mm. if you've got, like, a favourite song that's got a really if good If you've story, got an audience. Well, yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, and they email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, and they say what the song is now. What would examples be, then? Examples, ones that jump to mind straight away for me, Elvis, In the Ghetto. Yeah, yeah. good one. Brilliant. Andrew Gold, Lonely Boy. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't know that one. Eminem, Stan. Right, yeah, yeah. Good one. You couldn't fade it out, could you? Because you go, well, what happened? 
Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> and that's, that's what I'm saying, not just any sort of pop song that keeps repeating itself and, you know, it's like, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if it skips or, you know what I mean, if you turn the radio off. Yeah. But I'm talking Ernie, about songs. Ernie, the fastest milk in the world. <laughs> yeah, that is a good story. That is a good story. Oh. Yeah. Did you know that one? Yeah. Yeah, it's, well, it's a story, yeah. Ted from Teddington, he drove the baker's van. Well, oh. uh, so what, what have we got then? Have we got one? So we're going to kick it off today with, uh, Stevie Wonder, Living Just Enough for the City. Okay. And, uh, just, just briefly. Sum it up. Right, yeah. if, you haven't, if you, if, if you are nipping out, maybe you're in the car and you're about to pull up somewhere and get out, what it's all about is, is a lad who's, who's growing up in, like, America in some rough area, right? And, uh, he's trying his best to do well and get a job and everything, but because of where he's from, it's stopping him doing that, right? It's like how I grew up on an estate in Manchester, mm. I had to leave there and come to London to mm. do all right for myself, yep. right? Uh, and it's his whole family and it's a tale of like, how like his, how his mum works dead hard and works loads of hours, but the kids are always well dressed and cleaned. It doesn't mean just because you haven't got a good job, you let your house run down, do yep. you know what I mean? She's looking after it. The, the sister, you know, she hasn't got new clothes, but they're always clean, and her knees are clean, I think it says in one point. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Excellent. Clean uh, knees, always so, important. So, will we give it a listen? Let, let Brilliant, it's it. a well, great track. I don't track. think Stevie can do it justice. <laughs> 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 After that exploration. Right, so... Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm not sure oh, he's going to top that. I think he uses, that. like, some sort of, like, backing tune to try and, uh, <laughs> Try and pep it up a bit, because yeah. you have really knocked it so, the socks off so it. Brilliant. I'm, I'm looking forward right, to the clean knees. <laughs> so, new feature, uh... What is it called again? The story in that song's really good. Here's Stevie Wonder. Go on then, Carl. Back announce that. It's your, it's your choice, that. Right, songs with good stories that you can't fade out. Yeah. Uh, Although you can heavily edit them for yeah, them. Yeah, I noticed you didn't, you, you didn't play the, uh, the full version, which no, has obviously radio, got it. the complete story in. You've, um, you've just played a, uh... I haven't heard the other, that's all version. I know. Well, in the album version, uh, he, he gets goes abducted. to jail. He gets abducted as well, and he comes back with a big beard. Yeah, and he's no. covered in hair. No, no. he goes, to, he gets, uh, arrested and goes to jail. But, uh, it's, he's, it's just, you know, it's just because he gets picked up because he's black. And he hasn't done anything wrong. There's a whole I've other, there's a whole other sort one. of section. Maybe we should change this section. No, what we'll do, right? Abridged versions of songs. <laughs> yeah. No, next week we'll play the second bit and it'll be like, uh, like Star Wars or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Doves. Caught by the River on XFM 104.9. Well, it's been a good show, hasn't it? It's been sort of like a, quite a rock and roll 70s feel to it, mainly the equipment. Um, but uh, we got through it. Carl's been telling us some great insights into his his mind, mm. really. We've had a few laughs, a few tears. A bit stressful. What were you telling me in the week about when you went to visit your dad in hospital? Oh, we're talking about. Um... Yeah, me, me, when I got back off holiday, my dad was was in hospital. I shot back to see him, see how he's getting on. And hospitals are depressing places, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Really, like phew, God, you know, they, 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 you know, if, even if you're not that ill, it makes you feel worse. Yeah, because it's really like drags you down. There's people walking around moaning, and, you know. You mainly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, nurses. And uh, yeah. my dad was Political. there. Political, yeah. He's, is a <laughs> high five satire. satire. You know yeah. I, mean? I would like to be the energy and paid enough and all that, and I oh. do like no. Well, that's Tony Blair, I mean. are you listening? <laughs> I don't. I don't want to look like I'm moaning about the people working because they all work really hard. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah, but it's just God the hard, de hard, depressing places. High five. Nice one, Go nice on. one. Yeah. Right. So, um, so I'm sat there. My dad's uh, getting fed up, and uh, <laughs> is that because you're visiting? <laughs> Just, just, he's quite an active bloke, yeah. and all of a sudden he's got to like stay being, in bed, and, yeah. you know, it's like, sit down, stop moving about, and all this. Yeah. So, um, so he's sat there, and there's an old woman in the bed next door, right? And, uh, she's, I mean, she's in, she's in a bad way anyway. Yeah. Right? She must have been, she looked about, I'd say she looked about 98 or something like that. Okay, good. Right? Now, I don't know what was wrong with her, but she was always constantly moaning, and you could see that the nurses were trying their best to keep her happy, and she wasn't having any of it. And, uh, you know, she was moaning because her hands had gone blue. <laughs> well, that is a worry, to be honest. Well, it's not, because she's 98. Is that what happens? But why, why doesn't the doctor, if I was a doctor, and I'm not one, 
But, uh, don't, no, no, Carl, don't be modest. Are you a doctor? Yes or no? But if I, was I think there, he's let it slip. Are you, Carl, are you a doctor? No, listen. Look me in the eye. Right. Yeah. right so this Carl, woman had blue hands. Had she, she had, seen, um, she a spacecraft? Had, <laughs> right. So, <laughs> God. she had blue hands. Now, she's 98. If I was a doctor, I'd No, be she's not 98. You said, you said earlier on she looked about 98. So you're making that up. <laughs> it's just shifted from speculation to fact. <laughs> Absolute fact now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, she's 98. <laughs> it is fact now! <laughs> There's a hundred year old uh, woman. Yeah, yeah, go on, yeah. If I was a doctor, I'd be thinking. You're not, are you? <laughs> you <laughs> you honestly, think you think you're like on them? <laughs> <laughs> I'd How would I get away with this? <laughs> I'd be thinking. <laughs> right. She's 98. Um, she hasn't got long left. Why not just let her be at home and be happy in With her, her own hands. in her own yeah. space? Yeah. Um, you know, and let her let her have a, a nice life, whatever's left. Because she may hurt herself. She may have falls. Some people have to go in there for their own protection. She might not have immediate but more family. Than that, she may not have been dragged in against her will. No, she no. may have come to hospital because she was worried yeah. about her blue hands. Yeah, yeah. But I, when I was talking to Ricky, he said, "Oh, what it would have been is." Uh, Probably a bit of. Did you say it's rheumatism or something? No, I said it might. I mean, a, a blueness can be through uh, lack of circulation. But. Right. So just. And so I'm right, definitely got, not a doctor. You've got, you've got blue hands, bad circulation. We're going to send you home. We'll give you a Rubik's cube. Um, play around with that with your hands. Get get the blood. <laughs> the yeah. Rubik's cube. Sure. Get, get the blood pumping. Yeah. Um, and don't worry. I don't say. Oh, it's really bad. Just think she's 98. Yeah. Let her have a nice rest of the life. Yeah. But instead, she was there, and the annoying thing was, and they do this with a lot of people in hospital, they pump you with drugs, uh -huh. try to sort it out. They don't, you know, they probably a bit of guesswork going on. Maybe. A little not, bit. Not as much as <laughs> you, but go on. Right? And because of that, they sort of break wind a lot. So I'm sat there with my dad talking. Whoa, 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 Drugs do that, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if there's a doctor listening or a nurse, they will clarify <laughs> right. that if they pump you with all sorts of stuff, um, <laughs> it wants to come out. <laughs> right. So you're sat there having a serious chat. It's a quiet hospital. <laughs> the woman next door with the blue hands suddenly starts seeping gas, right? W I start laughing. Because <laughs> if there's one thing that makes you laugh, it's that, is it? It's a 98 year old woman with blue hands, fine. So you try to hold it in because it's a really quiet hospital and it's, it'd be obvious that we were, uh, that I was laughing at her and I, I didn't want to be mean, but yeah. it is funny. And then it got me t talking about my auntie, because my auntie Nora, um, she, uh, she, same thing. Pumped her with loads of drugs. She used to, a, a, a cabinet next to the bed is like boots. She's got <laughs> loads of stuff, right? For all sorts of stuff. And, I mean, she's not that old, but she's on loads of stuff, right? She's and a bit coked up as she, she smoked. Uh, <laughs> she called up my mum once. And, yeah, uh, you told us this. Go on, tell it again. And, uh, she said, oh, how are you doing and that? She said, all right. Uh, bit worried though. My mum said, wow, what's up? She said, I've, uh, been breaking wind. So she goes, well, you know. She says, no, but this one is going on and on and on. And she was <laughs> like, she was, she was like, what, 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 what do you say? What's, like, passing wind, farting, for five minutes. <laughs> one, one thing. Not like you know, trumping, and then nothing. Yeah. Continuous. Continuous drone of a fart. Yeah. I don't think she had- how big was she? She must be the size of a barn. No, she's not that big. She's, you know, she's good for her age. No, quite but I mean- that. Quite that, slim. No, it's but fighting for five minutes. Uh, where's all the guy- was she circular breathing? Was she sucking it in with her mouth? It was just- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that much about it. But she called up my mum. About two and a half minutes in- Could you hear <laughs> it in the background? <laughs> In. Two and a half minutes in, she called me <laughs> mum up, and it went, it went on for a further two and a half minutes. Oh. And she just stayed on the phone, did she? Where was- phone, Going, well, can you hear that? Well, <laughs> yeah, did she hold the phone next to her ass? <laughs> Listen to she, that. She was off the ground. I'm trying to work a tune down. <laughs> she, she, was, she was actually hovering. She was four yeah. foot off the ground yeah. when they found her, the ambulance yeah. men. The cat's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't light a match! <laughs> Don't light that cigarette! <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, that advert. The kids come home from school, switch on the light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there they see Granny yeah. hovering, <laughs> turn the light on. Be careful if you have an elderly woman at home. Yeah, <laughs> drugs so, make you fart. So that's that's what I'm saying. You know, just let these people. What, what are you saying? No, wait a minute. What are you saying? I'm saying let people enjoy the life they've got left. No, you're not. You're saying don't put me in hospital. Leave me at home to die. No, I'm not. Give them a Rubik's Cube right. and let them die. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I'll tell you something now, right, <laughs> Steve? Right. I'll tell you something. I didn't want to do it because it brings the show down, but she did die. Who, the blue-handed lady? Yeah. How do you know? Because I said to me dad, how's the, uh, woman next door? She, said, oh, she went, she went last night, they've got an old fella in there now. Oh, God. 
So, there you go. So, wouldn't it have been better to leave her at home, where her friends and family can call and speak to her, even nip that round if they want, you know, with a cat, I, think, I imagine. <laughs> no, it's definitely a cat now. What was uh, that cat's called, that you imagine? Probably, I'm seeing like a big ginger one, so I don't know, something <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe ginger or whatever. <laughs> Um, maybe I'd a budgie. But that's what I'm saying, just let him enjoy his life, because dying in hospital, I wouldn't like to do it. If if I went to the doctors and they said, you haven't got long life left, I'd say, well, I'll, I'll stay at home. Yeah. And that's, that's the point I'm getting at. Yeah. Right? If you can't do anything for him, let him enjoy the life. Yeah. A Rubik's Cube. <sighs> right. Well, um, good. It backfired. Now, uh, let's play... The second uh, of the Rolling Stones, I'm going to try and do this every week, it's a feature called 